Okay guys and girls, you see before you a little oil lamp. And this is made out of a jam jar, right, well a large jam jar. It's got a piece of wire, this is galvanized uh, two and a half millimeter wire which is bent up from this little handle down into the jar, into a coil with a little very small pinch coil at the top. And also I put in some lamp wick. Now the lamp wick itself is this stuff. It's proper official lamp wick created for lamps and nothing else. You get it from a hardware shop for 98 pence per meter, so I've, you know, you got the makings of maybe 10 or 20 lamps there, okay? The wire itself, it's 45 meters, sorry, 25 meters for about £4.50, okay? Jam jar, that's just junk, okay, that's left over from when I, you know, from sweeteners or sugar or whatever. The oil itself is olive oil which you can get at your local supermarket, probably at budget prices. Cheaper stuff probably works better. Do not use any other form of cooking oil, apart from olive oil, because the rest will just stink like crazy. The light given off by this is really rather good. It took me about five minutes to assemble the wick and the bent wire with the help of um, two pairs of pliers and a pair of scissors. That's all. Okay, it is an off-grid technology, it is an emergency lighting technology. Um, the light given off by it, as you can see there, in, in the bright daylight, is pretty good. Okay, as far as how much it costs to run, that, that much I don't know. But the oil should last, this tiny little puddle of oil in here should last for a few hours anyway. So essentially, we're not talking about that much of a great cash expense. Um, if you think that either there's hard times coming, or if you think that you just want to save, you know, save yourself the possibility of there being some, um, you know, power cuts, and you still want to have some kind of emergency illumination, make yourself some of these. Just start, you know, collect a few jars, bend the, get the wire, make sure you can bend it okay. I've chosen galvanized wire so it doesn't rust. Don't use copper wire because that you know no other wire will will be as good as either steel or galvanized basically. Okay, you don't want to have green gunk. You don't want to have smoke or strange chemicals in your air. If you're that kind of person and if you just like the kind of effect, just put a drop or two of essential oil into your candle lantern, into your um, olive oil lantern, and then hey presto, there you go. I suppose there's nothing wrong with also sort of like making yourself a handle out of string so you can actually carry the thing around and make sure you provide yourself with enough height, okay, with, you know, so you don't burn your hand above the jar. I mean, there's quite a, quite a fierce heat coming off that. So that's, that's obviously a good reason to be careful. Now, the olive oil itself will not burn because it has a, uh, it has a flashpoint problem, okay. So if, um, if the jar gets tipped over, the olive oil will not burn and burn the house down. It can't happen, it's not possible. The olive oil goes up the wick, the heat of whatever lighting technology you've used will vaporize the oil and it's the vapor which essentially burns and carries on burning. And the fact that you've got the metal pinching onto the wick itself prevents um, any extra, you know, uh, either the fire going down even further, so it means you can trim the wick. If the wick is too high, it'll smoke. You don't need that much. I've only got... Uh, less than a centimeter, I think, in there. Less than a centimeter's worth of wick. It's a lot of the bigger stuff has burned down anyway, so it's reached a comfortable level it feels happy with. So that's that's good. If you want, you can have prettier jars to have prettier lanterns. You can have these on your patio um, when you're having your romantic dinners. Whatever you want with them, but essentially it's cheap. It is an off-grid technology, just worthwhile. Making sure you got the wire. I mean, as long as you got the wire and you got the wick on hand, then you're prepared for all difficult situations. That's basically all. And if you can just make sure you got a couple of bottles of olive oil around the house, um, that's great. If you can obviously prepare and just get a couple of these made up, you could even put a, a lid on top to make sure that the wire is kept within, you know, with the, in place, the wick's in place. So the only thing you need to do is to add the oil and set fire to it. Okay. So there you go. Low cost, very easy to assemble, cheap olive oil lamp. Remember, olive oil, not anything else. It's the way to go.